in SD, there are three major classes of business processes. One is sales, the second is delivery, the third is billing. Under each class of business processes, under each class of business process, there are different categories of transactions. Inquiry is different from a quotation, which is different from an order, which is different from how a consignment or a contract behaves. This is segregated or separated in SAP using what is called as a category. So we'll see some examples of where you configure sales documents, where you configure delivery documents, where you do billing, where you set the category, and so on. And then we have seen that a document type is really a template that represents the category of the business transaction and how it should behave. For example, how the credit should be done and how demand should be passed on to production and whether you know a, a status should be maintained like hot, cold versus lost or approved. All these things are specified in a template and that template is called a document type. Now, the easy part is that for all the sales templates, there is only one place where you can configure this template. And the template looks like irrespective of the document category. For example, if the document category is quotation or a consignment or a contract, does not matter. All of them have the same template. And they're all configured in the same place in SPRO. And same with the delivery. All the delivery templates, irrespective of the category, are configured in a different place, but under the same location in SPRO. And same with billing. Now, I'll show you the path that uh, you need to take to configure this. So here is the path where you configure the sales document types. So go to SPRO, IMG, Sales and Distribution, Sales, Sales Document Header, and under that we have Define Sales Document Type. Let me take a screenshot of this. So this is where you configure your sales document types. Okay, sales and distribution under SPRO, sales and distribution, sales, sales document, header, and sales document types. Where do you do the delivery? So deliveries are done here. So go to logistics execution. This one is a little off, so it's an exception, but most of it is under SD anyway. Go to shipping. Go to deliveries and delivery types. So I'll take a screenshot of this as well. So go to logistics execution. Under SPRO, this is all under SPRO, and then shipping, deliveries, delivery type. And then, how about billing? Billing is easy, so you go to billing under sales and distribution, billing documents, billing document types. Okay this 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 and this so this is where the templates are maintained or the document types for the respective classes are maintained the billing the delivery and sales now let's look at this example of a template what do i mean by a template here so let's go to this section and see how this template looks like so 
let's go to sales sales document sales document header and select the defined sales document type and these are the different sales document types so go here and then select uh, say QT for quotation remember we have used QT when we have done the sales document cycle you can either double click it or select it and go to this magnifying glass and here is your sales order type so what's the sales order type what is it really so this is the template that I was talking about you see it has so many different sections so each one is a section so this is a section that contains the number systems this is a section that contains some other details and this is a section that contains billing details, shipping details for, all for the same sales document type called quotation so this is what I mean by the template the template called the sales document type right so this is a template or a set of properties that define a sales document type and remember the most important property in a sales document type is the category and this is the category and if you go back I've told you that there are different categories of sales transactions like inquiry quotation order consignment contract so on so if you go here this is the field or, or the property in the sales document type or sales document type template that shows you what kind of category of business transaction this really is so can you create your own categories like if you go here can you create your own category like your own category no you can't these things are hard coded in SAP meaning you can't create more than what is available here these are the only categorization that's possible in defining a sales document type that's it whatever you do you will have to confine yourself within these different categorization available to define and classify a sales business process now same thing with delivery and same thing with invoicing as well they have a predefined set of categories and each category behaves in a certain way example a quotation behaves in a certain way and an order behaves in a certain way and we know how they behave based on uh, the different properties that we have seen when we talked about the business cycle now <clears throat> If you want to create your own business process like if you go to a company tomorrow and try and implement SAP their business process need not be anywhere similar to how a, a software services companies run or a hardware service company runs or even how a coal mine runs they could be totally different you could be working in a car rental company implementing SAP you could be working in a real estate company implementing SAP or you could be working in um, a production studio uh, running SAP like there are many production houses in Hollywood that run SAP and all of them have different business processes but the categorization that we have seen here is what brings structure to it this categorization is pretty similar meaning whether you go to Hollywood implementing SAP for a production house or whether you go to a coal mine to implement SAP for their logistics processes there are only a fixed category of sales business processes and if you want to create one go and copy from the one that's closest to what you like meaning if there are so many different categories like quotation order scheduling agreement contract inquiry and so on if 
a media company is is looking for an inquiry or if customers come to this media company in Hollywood for inquiries, you don't want to create it as a copy of quotation. You would want to start with an inquiry that's provided out of the box in SAP, copy it, create your own inquiry document type. Now this is very important. You don't change this. You don't go into inquiry and start changing things. You always make a copy and then create your own document type or template or whatever and then start to customize it the way you want it. Before we answer the question of why we are copying it, we have to understand that whenever you're trying to copy it from an existing template, make sure that you copy from the closest possible category. Like I said, if your company is trying to implement an inquiry business process, don't copy it from a quotation or don't copy it from an order. Don't copy it from a contract either. Copy it from an inquiry. If you are trying to create a contract, create your own contract as a copy of a standard contract. Now, the next important question is why do we copy? Why can't we use the standard template provided by SAP? 